Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're gonna to be using the prompt generator to create, a, a, I don't like to call it this, but it's called an AI field. You're not like actually creating the AI field as like from the object, you are creating the field as like a text field and then you'll be using that with the prompt generator to turn it into an AI field. Hopefully that made sense. So I have already actually gone in and created this field that we're gonna be using on the opportunity. Let's jump into the opportunity I was just gonna show you. So we've got this here, details. I wanted to use this quick summary field. And what I did there to create that field, let's go find opportunity, object. Let's go here. All right, opportunity. So essentially what I just did is I created a new field here. I did text area long, next, created it just as a regular field. So now I'm gonna exit out of this now that I've kind of shown you that it is here on that page. You're gonna wanna go through and just create that field. Then what I did is I went and I created uh, a new prompt template. So when you're creating a new prompt template, let's go and I'll show you kind of a quick overview of it. So I did field generation because I want the AI to just create a quick summary of the opportunity. Uh, I did the prompt template name. Then I went to opportunities here. And this is like the actual creation part of that AI field. I did a quick summary is where I'm going to have that out spit out. Um, and then I did the prompt template name. So then you would click next and then fill out your prompt. I've already done that. I'll show you that real quick. So I did it as an opportunity summary. So you can see here, uh, opportunity to quick summary. I don't want to go through creating the whole prompt with you. I'll go over it. I'll link the video I did creating a prompt template before and using that and getting the whole shebang set up. This is just how to turn your field into an AI field. So I just wanted to use a couple of inputs here using chat GPT-4. So we're using the opportunity amount, the close date, the next steps, the name, the stage name, and the total opportunity quantity. So that's what I'm having an input. Now it's going to generate a record. So let's go to edge communications or just an opportunity. And then it will load the preview of what it's actually gonna look like. So now it just summarized that opportunity that I selected. This is activated. It's similar to a flow where you need to save each version. It's already activated. So let's go back to the opportunity here. So now this is how you turn a field into an AI field. Let's go ahead and jump into edit page here from the little gear icon. We're gonna turn this into a dynamic form first. So go to details here and then exit out here. Upgrade now. Opportunity layout is what I'm going to select because this is the most general one. It is just a select one. All right. So now that it is a dynamic form, let's go ahead and go into that field. So it is not the owner. It is the quick summary here. All right. So now you can see we have the Einstein generative AI template. And now it's going to recognize that we are on the opportunity record page. So it's only going to show up for one's or templates that were listed underneath opportunity because I've got a couple for cases here and it's not showing up. So it's just gonna show one. I'm gonna go with opportunity summary. All right, let's go ahead and click save here. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna save it without requiring the fields. All right, let's go ahead and activate it here and assign it as work default for desktop and phone. Go ahead and click next and save. All right, so now that that is activated, let's go ahead and go back to the page. Now it should work without refreshing it because it's a technical refresh, but I'm a refresh nerd. I like to refresh so I know I'm getting the most up to date. So let's go ahead and scroll down to where I know that quick summary is there. Let me actually make this a little bit bigger so you can see this. So you can see here, it's got that little star next to the pencil icon, whereas description does not have that. So let's go ahead and do a quick summary here. You can see Einstein popped up down there as a little um, tab, I guess. Let's go ahead and click this little sparkle and it will run that template that we had already created. It'll take a couple of seconds just depending on 
whatever's going on with the system, how fast the servers are that day. But it has run that template that we have already done and it is showing up with a field that we can then use. Boom. There we go. We can save that quick summary. It's just saying the edge generator has successfully reached close one status. This accomplishment is significant considering the monetary value stands at $75,000. The close date was recorded as June 1st, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, let's go ahead and click save. And there we go. That is how you successfully turn a field or create, turn a field into an AI field or I guess create an AI field. It can be pretty tricky because you can run into a lot of different errors. One error that I ran into was on creation of my new prompt. I wanted to create a summary, but instead of just doing field generation, I did record summary and that caused some issues. So watch out for that when you are creating your AI field. But I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. You can check out the courses down below in the description or on salesforceupskill.com. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.